definitely a plus. Uh, next up is Microsoft Word. Now I I go back and forth between um, between Word and um, Pages uh, by Apple, but I, I'm familiar with Word because I've been on a on a PC for so long. That's just the application I'm more familiar with. Um, but I use Word, you know, to do all my uh, to do our our our, uh, our stuff for the podcast and for the website, so I can spell check before I post stuff and all kind of stuff. Um, iTunes is pretty popular. If you have a PC, you need iTunes. If you have a Mac, you already have iTunes. That's where all my music, movies, and all kind of stuff are stored at all my playlists, everything. Photoshop. <clears throat> um, for all the stuff that you guys see on the website and logos and all kind of stuff that we do, of course, it all comes from Photoshop. I have photo, that's where all my photos are stored of me, family, and friends. Uh, Final Cut Express. Final Cut Express is very similar to um, Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you've ever messed around with Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Express is pretty similar to that. Um, it's a very good application. Um, I also use iMovie as well whenever I'm trying to put something together that's quick or doesn't need uh, that many effects put on it, I'll use iMovie. ScreenFlow is what I'm using right now to record this video. ScreenFlow is a very um, powerful screen capturing program or application um, that captures your screen when you're trying to record a video. Um, I love, love ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is hot. So if you don't have ScreenFlow and you catch yourself doing a lot of videos like this tutorials stuff like that check out ScreenFlow that is an Apple application only so if you're on a PC um, you can't use that one but there's so many uh, screen capturing applications um, for PC and Mac just go and find one for PC uh, GarageBand I use that to do the interludes for the podcast and to edit our podcast TweetDeck TweetDeck, this is this is my home right here. Twitter, this is this is where I do all my twittering, all my updating. It's here on TweetDeck. I like TweetDeck. It's it's very simple, very easy. Um, you can see everything across the board: your direct messages, your mentions, all your friends. Um, if you ever want to put a picture um, with your tweets, all you have to do is drag and drop your picture inside of here. All that's all you do is drag and drop your photo here, and it'll create the link for you. Um, if you want, you can put your Facebook on here. You can put your uh, your MySpace account on here, so you can make updates to all. You can make updates all across the board. So you can update your Twitter, your Facebook, and your MySpace all in one using TweetDeck. Uh, TweetDeck also has a feature where you can record a 12-second video and update it to uh, upload it to Twitter as well, so people could check that out. So TweetDeck is is pretty hot. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking that out. I know there's a whole lot of other Twitter applications out there, but Twitter Deck is a pretty nice one. So download it, check it out. Bejeweled, I'm big on Bejeweled. I'm big on Peggle. Those, that's why those two games are here. So play those all day, every day. Um, and I play Bejeweled Blitz all the time on my iPhone and on Facebook for all you guys who know what Bejeweled Blitz is. Um, so uh, stuff it and drop stuff. I use this. This is uh, basically to extract raw files, to compress files, to do everything all across the board. It's a very easy to use program because all you do is you take a folder. I'm not going to do it with this one, but you take a folder and you just drag it over it, and that's it. And then you just drop it. Very easy, very simple to use, and that's why those are on my desktop as well because I'm always downloading stuff. Always, always, legally too. I might add. <laughs> um, now next up <clears throat> this is called password uh, one password that is um, a lot of people are familiar with it some people aren't uh, let me go ahead and log into mine um, now this is one password <clears throat> one password is basically exactly what it is I have one password to log into all my accounts well not exactly let me explain that again so basically what 1Password does is for a lot of these sites I have a, a whole lot of different passwords but with 1Password it allows me to put in to take all these sites that I have a password for and just use 1Password to log into them. Um, another thing that 1Password does is it holds all my account information um, for when I'm trying to pay my bills, it holds my wallet, it holds my credit card information. And I know you guys are like, dude, DLB, are you really showing your credit card information? No, I'm not. This is actually fake. 
and as you can see right here it says sample so this is a fake account but this is just to show you the things that you can do now um, as you can see right here you can see my iPhone um, one password also has an application for the iPhone and you can I can sync everything that I save on here to my iPhone and vice versa from my iPhone on the here um, so one password is a phenomenal application if you have notes um, if you have identity information like a perfect example of this is you can put in uh, all my all my information my name my sex my initials my address like on and on and on but what this is good for is you know how when you and I meant to have a better example up for you but I totally forgot to do it but you know how when you go to a website and it asks you to register for a site and it's actually for your first name your last name your email your password your all that stuff to register for the site well what happens is you would fill one of these out and then when you go to that website it put all this information in for you so instead of you have to have to know, actually fill out every single piece of information it if one password will fill all that information in for you which is pretty cool I'll give you an example of the login side of one password so what we'll do is we'll go to let's go to Facebook so we go to Facebook and as you can see right here my email and my password isn't here and some and the reason why I like this is because a lot of people say well you have Firefox so Firefox automatically retains your information and that is true but what I don't like about Firefox doing that is that what if you're not the only person using that computer that's where that's where that happens so somebody comes and they get on your computer and then your information is already here so all they got to do is click log in and you're logged in and now they can see all your information if you don't want them to see your information now what one password what makes one password a whole lot better is you come up here you see the one P icon I press this and I go to log in with Facebook <laughs> and then it logs me in now what normally happens is it ask me for my password and it didn't ask me for my password because right now I'm messing around in one password so it knows it's me because you guys saw initially I had to put my password in in order to log in so but normally what happen is when I click one password it a pop up asking me to put in my password and then I would have put my my password in and then it would have logged me in to uh, this website and as you can see I have all these different websites so all I have to do is click that one password icon and it asked me for my um, for me to type in my my one password password um, and then it'll log me into the site without me having to put in my username and my password so it's a really good application once again if you guys don't have it um, definitely look into it um, another thing one last thing I know there's a lot of you guys who shop online a lot and this comes in handy very handy you can put your banking information your credit card information and this is why it's so hot now you know how when you normally go to a website um, we use like a uh, like eBay for example um, and you're ready to buy something and it asks you for your credit card information well what you would do is you would right click and then you would go to one password and then you would go down to where it says credit card and you, if you had your credit card information your credit card information will pop up here well, when you push this, I can't actually show you because I'm not in a credit card area. But when you're in a credit card area and you push this, it'll auto fill in all that credit card information for you. So it pit that you're using um, a Capital One card, your Capital One card number, the expiration date. It'll fill in all that information for you instead of you having to type it in. So I'm telling you, one password is a lifesaver. It makes your day a whole lot easier because it makes everything so much quicker. Registering for sites, signing into a site, purchasing things online. So if you guys don't have one password, definitely look into getting one password. Um, once again, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, if you guys have videos that you guys want me to do, definitely let me know and I'll do them. Um, until my next video, I'm out guys. Peace.